Okay, today we are doing chapter seven, lesson four, multiplying by four, pages 383 to 384. We're gonna be revisiting the um, doubling a known fact that we learned in the previous lesson. So what strategies can be used to learn multiplication and division facts? Here's one for you. If you are having trouble with your fours, you can double a twos fact to help you. And we're gonna learn how to do that now. If you get really good at this, you can do it in your head. and It'll be almost as fast as just knowing your fours. Okay, so we have a word problem. We're gonna do our three read strategy to um, explore this word problem. A box is packed with some rows of oranges. Each row has some oranges. Okay, so I have a box. I see rows of oranges. I see oranges in each row. Every row has the same number of oranges. Okay, now I'm gonna read it with the numbers. A box is packed with four rows of oranges. Each row has nine oranges. Now I see the four rows. I see nine oranges in each row. Every row has nine oranges. Now I'm gonna read it with the question to find out what they want me to do with those numbers. A box is packed with four rows of oranges. Each row has nine oranges. How many oranges are in the box? So I know that I wanna know the total number of oranges. If I've got equal groups, I could do repeated addition, but it'd be faster to do multiplication. So I'm gonna multiply. So I'm gonna find four times nine. Now remember our word decompose means to break apart. So we're gonna decompose four into two equal add-ins of two plus two. Two plus two equals four, so you can do that. We're gonna use the known fact of two times nine and double it. The reason why we're using nine is because that's my other factor in my original problem. So here you can see an array of four rows of nine, and I've divided them into two rows of nine and two rows of nine. So once I know what two rows of nine is, I can add those together and get the um, total, get the product for the original problem. So four times nine is the same as two times nine plus what times nine? Well, I have the other two times nine here, so I'm going to um, put that in over here to, oops. Well, I thought I was writing with a pen and it just jumped. <clears throat> okay, so two times nine, because here I have two times nine and here I have two times nine. So two times nine I know is 18, because I know my twos, and if I'm unsure, I can count all the yellow boxes. This two times nine also equals 18, so then I'm gonna add them together. Now you can stack the problem to add it and do it the standard algorithm. Eight plus eight is 16, put down the six, carry the one, one plus one plus one, or 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. Here's another way you can do it. I know that eight plus eight is 16, and I know that two tens is 20. So I can add those and I have 36. When I do it in my head, this is how I do it. Okay, so the answer is 36. So the array shows that two times nine plus two times nine equals four times nine. So four times nine equals 36. So there are 36 oranges in the box. Speaking of labeling, let's go back and verify our label. In the word problem, they're saying that we're counting oranges. I should have used orange highlighter. And if you look at the question, you will see how many oranges are in the box. The word following how many is usually your label. Okay, let's go to the next page. So there are some bunches of bananas. Each bunch has some bananas. There are three bunches of bananas. Each bunch has four bananas. There are three bunches of bananas. Each bunch has four bananas. How many bananas are there all together? We're gonna to write a multiplication sentence with a symbol for the unknown, then solve. Sorry about that, that was my meeting notice coming up. Okay, so first I'm gonna find, I have my number of groups, which is three. The number in each group is four. I need the total, that is the unknown. Three cannot be decomposed into two equal add-ins. So I'm gonna solve by decomposing the factor four into two equal add-ins of two and use the known fact of three times two plus three times two to find the unknown. Okay, so three I can't 
make into two equal numbers, but I can do that with four. Oops, I still have the highlighter on. Okay, I'll just leave it like that there. So I'm going to multiply each of my twos by three. So three times two plus three times two, because remember I'm doing it twice, equals the unknown. Three times two equals six. Three times two equals six. Six plus six equals 12. So three times four equals 12. The unknown is 12. So there are 12 bananas all together. So let's look back at the word problem. Okay, it said write a multiplication sentence for, with a symbol for the unknown, then solve. Oh, they didn't make us a symbol. So they used a gray box, so we could put a symbol in here. I like using N in third grade for our unknown. Okay, let's look at guided practice. You're going to pause the video um, after, um, when I tell you to, so you can find the answer and then check back with me um, when you start the video again. Okay, so number one, double a known fact to find six times four. Label the array and complete the number sentences. Okay. So first of all, I want you to label the array. That's like what we did on the first page, right down here, where the array is labeled two times nine, two times nine. So pause your video and, oops, on the wrong, nope, sorry. Label the array, the green and the purple. Okay, so I know that there are three rows of four. I can write three times four to help me. Okay, the purple one is three rows of four, so I need three rows. I'm going to write my problem in here to help me solve it. Okay, now fill in the blue blanks. Pause your video. Okay, so three times four three times four. If I'm not sure what three times four is, I can count up the squares in my arrays, or if I just know them, I can put the answer. So three times four is 12, and three times four is 12. Okay, 12 plus 12 equals. Go ahead and calculate that. Pause your video. 12 plus 12 is 24. I could add it over here where they're stacked. They're already stacked for me. 2 plus 2 is 4. 10 plus 10 is 20. So the answer is 24. And I could just do that in my head as well. Okay, so 6 times 4 equals 24. Okay, this is the part where if you're not supposed to listen to my directions, then you will stop and go do your uh, independent work. But for my class, you need to listen to directions for this next page. Okay, here's your independent practice. You're going to double a known fact to find each product. Draw and label an array. Okay, so you have four problems here. Okay, and you're going to draw an array, decompose it into two equal parts, label the array, find the answer. You have plenty of room for your arrays. So it's really important that you draw number one, and label your array, and then find your answer that's part of your grade. Okay, you are going to find each unknown. You're going to double a known fact. So find your even number, decompose it into two of the same number, multiply, multiply each, um, multiply the other factor by each of those two numbers and find your unknown. You only need to fill in the blue blank. Okay, and that is your um, work for today and that is multiplying by four.